The movie opens with a chilling scene where a young woman, Eva, is standing by an apartment window. She witnesses the horrifying sight of a nuclear explosion devastating the city. In a panic, her boyfriend Sam urgently pulls her away, joining the other residents in a frantic rush to escape the unfolding catastrophe. As they find the elevators occupied, they desperately run downstairs and head for the basement, seeking shelter from potential further explosions. In a race against time, they barely manage to get inside the basement. Mickey, the man who lives there struggles to close the door just in time to prevent toxic air from entering their makeshift refuge. In the chaos, only eight residents from the entire apartment building managed to reach the safety of the basement, which also serves as the building's bomb shelter. These survivors include Ava and her boyfriend Sam, Marilyn, and her daughter Wendy, brothers Josh and Adrian, with their friend Bobby and the solitary figure, Delvin. Mickey, assuming a leadership role, declares himself the superintendent of this group of survivors. He firmly seals the shelter's door, warning the others not to open it under any circumstances. Wendy, the youngest among them, becomes increasingly distressed by their dire situation, prompting Mickey to harshly silence her. The survivors are then startled by the sound of their apartment building collapsing into ruins above them. As time passes, the group reluctantly accepts Mickey's dominance and control over the shelter. They consume the beans he provides and sleep in the areas he designates, while Mickey alone has access to his private room. Tensions rise when Josh and Bobby, restless and anxious, confront Mickey about leaving the shelter. This leads to a brief, but intense conflict. The situation takes a turn when they hear knocking at the doors. Cut off from the outside world and devoid of radio signals, the group initially believes it could be a rescue team and reacts with joy. However, Mickey, skeptical of the situation, instructs them to turn off the lights. The group retreats as the banging intensifies and the door is eventually forced open by a group of armed men in biohazard suits. In the ensuing chaos, the armed intruders capture Wendy, Marilyn's daughter, and leave. The rest of the assailants are taken down by Delvin and Mickey in a violent confrontation. During the struggle, Adrian is shot in the chest. After the attackers depart, the group is left to grapple with the aftermath of this traumatic event, their situation now even more precarious. Soon after, the tension escalates as Marilyn becomes increasingly distraught over the abduction of her daughter Wendy by the mysterious invaders. Her intense grief and desperation lead the group to confine her in a storage room for her own safety. Meanwhile, Ava, experiencing doubts about her relationship with Sam, finds herself growing closer to Adrian as she tends to his gunshot wound. The group, deeply moved by Marilyn's sorrow, decides to take action to find her daughter. They choose Josh to don the suit of one of the deceased soldiers in an attempt to infiltrate the enemy's territory and search for Wendy. Josh ventures out of the shelter dressed in the soldier's suit, stepping into an environment eerily covered with plastic sheets. Despite his reluctance, he bravely proceeds until he discovers an area resembling a laboratory. Using his disguise to his advantage, he cautiously enters the lab, where his heart sinks upon seeing Wendy among other shaved children held captive in a lab cabinet. Age. However, his cover is soon blown when a soldier checks his ID and realizes he's an imposter. In a desperate escape, Josh manages to kill two soldiers and return to the shelter. His return brings devastating news. He indicates to Marilyn with a sorrowful expression that Wendy has been killed. Moments later, the group hears the sound of their door being welded shut from the outside, a grim indication that the soldiers intend to trap them inside to die. Josh, having been exposed to radiation during his mission, soon begins to exhibit symptoms of radiation sickness, adding to the dire situation within the shelter. Over time, the group becomes suspicious of Mickey, suspecting that he's hoarding food while only giving them beans. The unpleasant reality of their confinement becomes even more unbearable due to the rotting corpses of the soldiers they had killed earlier. Mickey devises a grisly plan to dispose of the bodies by cutting them into pieces and throwing them into the septic tank. He assigns this gruesome task to Bobby, who outwardly maintains a tough demeanor. However, the horrific nature of the task takes a toll on Bobby, leaving him visibly shaken and pale. Josh and Mickey reluctantly step in to finish the job. The situation within the shelter deteriorates as the group begins to fracture under the strain of their dire circumstances. Marilyn, emotionally unstable and isolated after the loss of her daughter, gravitates towards Bobby, who is psychologically scarred from dismembering the dead bodies. Their shared trauma leads them into a sexual relationship. Eva, concerned for Marilyn, tries to reason with her, but Marilyn's disturbed state only leads her to suggest that Eva should pursue a relationship with Josh, who has shown interest in her. Realizing her efforts are futile, Ava reluctantly leaves Marilyn and Bobby to their own devices. 
the tension escalates when Ava observes Devlin emerging from a room with a gun, heading towards Mickey's room. Curiously, she follows and witnesses Mickey exiting a secret storage room within his own quarters. Confronted by Devlin at gunpoint, Mickey is forced to reveal the hidden room. However, in a shocking turn of events, Mickey overpowers Devlin, snatching the gun and fatally shooting him. Ava, witnessing the murder, panics and rushes to alert the others. By the time the group arrives, Mickey has secured the door and concealed the new room with a cover. He claims self-defense in shooting Devlin but the group is skeptical. They eventually uncover the hidden room and restrain Mickey in a chair. Faced with a combination lock on the door, Josh and Bobby resort to torturing Mickey to extract the code. Despite Eva's pleas to stop, the torture escalates until Mickey can no longer endure the pain, leading to the revelation of the food storage Mickey had been concealing from the group. That night, the group indulges in a feast with the newfound supplies, locking Mickey away in a room. However, the atmosphere sours as Josh and Bobby begin to express derogatory remarks towards Marilyn. Disgusted and disturbed by their behavior, Eva leaves the gathering. The dynamics within the shelter change drastically, with Josh and Bobby assuming control, treating Marilyn as their sexual object and relegating the others to subordinate roles. As the harsh reality of their situation worsens, Eva and Adrian find solace in each other's company, sharing drinks occasionally. As the story progresses, Bobby, asserting his newfound authority, brings Mickey to Eva and Sam, declaring that Mickey is now their responsibility. The situation becomes more precarious. During a moment of compassion, Ava shares her water with the bound Mickey. Mickey, seizing the opportunity, asks Ava to untie him. When she refuses, he leans in to share a secret. There is a gun hidden in his room that Josh and Bobby have overlooked. This revelation sparks a glimmer of hope in Ava. She sees the gun as a potential means of defending themselves against the increasingly dangerous and unpredictable behavior of Josh and Bobby. Ava confides in Sam about the hidden gun, urging him to retrieve it, given his physical strength. However, Sam, clinging to his principles and former profession, rejects the idea. He insists that even if they were to acquire the gun, they would not resort to violence, as they are fundamentally different from the others. Later, as Sam joins Josh and Bobby for drinks, Eva is coerced into sitting with them for a game of truth or dare. Josh's questioning puts Eva in an uncomfortable spotlight, but she asserts her affection for Sam, much to the amusement of the pair. The situation escalates when Josh and Bobby demand that Sam dismember Devlin's corpse in the septic tank. Sam's refusal prompts them to use force, and Eva intervenes, pleading for them to release him. In a cruel twist, they force Eva to undertake the gruesome task instead, threatening to harm Sam if she doesn't comply. Traumatized by the ordeal, Eva becomes distracted and vulnerable. Mickey, observing her, urges her to take possession of the gun as soon as possible. He also reveals that there is a potential escape route from the shelter through the septic tank. However, Eva again leaves Mickey without untying him, as Josh, showing signs of radiation exposure, begins to lose his hair. In a symbolic act of solidarity and denial, he shaves off the rest of his hair and does the same to Bobby. Eva's distress deepens when she enters the food storage room, now claimed as Josh and Bobby's territory. There, she discovers a motionless Eva, leading her to the harrowing conclusion that they have killed her. Overcome with grief, she flees the room in tears. Adrian, witnessing Eva's anguish, is filled with remorse and anger. Unable to reconcile his brother's involvement in such malevolent acts during their time of crisis, Ava, driven to desperation, devises a plan to retrieve the hidden gun from Mickey's room. She creates a diversion by cutting off the electricity, plunging the shelter into darkness. She instructs Sam to use this opportunity to get the gun, informing him of its exact location. As expected, Bobby emerges frustrated by the sudden blackout. Seizing the moment, Ava enters the room to distract Josh, with Sam following her to retrieve the gun. However, the plan quickly encounters complications. Sam, in his attempt to access the room, is caught by Bobby, who questions his presence. Sam, thinking quickly, claims he's searching for food due to hunger. Bobby, in a disturbing display of dominance, begins to act aggressively and animalistically towards Sam. Meanwhile, Eva's situation becomes perilous as Josh, out of control, starts to touch her inappropriately. Despite her attempts to fend him off, Josh grows increasingly forceful and aggressive, attempting to sexually assault her. In a desperate move, Ava grabs an object from the table and strikes Josh, attempting to flee. However, her escape is thwarted when the lights suddenly turn back on, inadvertently caused by Adrian, who is unaware of Ava and Sam's plan. In another part of the shelter, Sam, having endured Bobby's humiliating behavior, manages to secure the gun and points it at 
at Bobby, forcing him to back off. As Ava runs out of the room, pursued by Josh, she encounters Sam holding Bobby at gunpoint. Josh, seeing the standoff, approaches Sam, causing a moment of distraction. Amidst the chaos, Eva urgently suggests that Sam hand the gun to Adrian. However, Sam, consumed by jealousy and misunderstanding, fatally shoots Adrian. In a swift response, Eva cuts Bobby's throat from behind, killing him, and then rushes to where Mickey is tied up. Josh pursues Ava, but upon arriving, he finds that she has already untied Mickey. Seizing the moment, Mickey exacts his revenge by shooting Josh. In the climactic moments of the movie, the situation spirals into chaos, as Josh, wounded and desperate, grabs an oil lamp. Eva and Mickey, watching him warily, are caught off guard when Josh suddenly throws the lamp onto the floor, igniting a fierce blaze that quickly engulfs the room and sets himself on fire. Sam, regaining consciousness amidst the turmoil, leaps into action, assisting Mickey in a frantic attempt to extinguish the rapidly spreading fire. As the room fills with thick, choking smoke from the gasoline, Eva makes a split-second decision to escape. She rushes to the room that was previously occupied by Mickey slamming the door shut behind her, effectively isolating herself from Mickey and Sam. In a state of panic and self-preservation, Eva retreats further into the shelter, heading towards the room housing the septic tank and the biohazard suit. She quickly locks the combination door, effectively sealing Mickey and Sam on the other side. As she completes her final heart-wrenching act of setting an explosive charge before breaking into the toilet and the septic tank, she swims through the filth, eventually finding a ladder that leads her out of the shelter. Emerging into the outside, Outside world, Eva is confronted with the stark reality of a devastated city, a desolate landscape devoid of life. The final scene shows Eva standing amidst the ruins, her expression numb and devoid of emotion. She is lost, with nowhere to turn after enduring the horrific trials of the shelter. The movie concludes with this haunting image, leaving Eva's fate uncertain in the midst of a world irrevocably altered by catastrophe.